it is the board that, you know, Joel won those three events on and went through pretty much Joel's whole career on this same board. One board to pick for the rest of your life, a shore board. For me, I'd, I'd stick with this, it's what I know. It's probably what my surfing style and everything suited to. Two foot wave with push into, you know, six, eight and ten foot, it still, it just does everything. This is just a proven design. It's going to be. Okay, so I <laughs> Hello, Joel. And what are we, are we doing Golden Child now? Golden Child. The Golden Child has turned, it looks like a trusty Rusty right now. It's got some use for how old it is. I only just shaped it pre-swell. I'm sure I've been riding. Yeah, I reckon I would have surfed it 20 times and given hell, it's just, you know, been bouncing around in the skis and it's surfed all proper good ways. I myself It's actually held up really well. I don't think I've had a board come back from you that's actually got footprints in it. She's been used. Where are we going? Oh, okay. I actually haven't seen a board from you like this actually. It's <laughs> like that, that's proper. It was weird to, to ride the board because there was times I felt like I was back, like back doing, you know, back on tour connecting the dots and I went to do a last turn at Kira and I was like, what the fuck am I getting a score for? What am I doing? I fucking... And I just went, went away to do it and I jumped off the back so I didn't have to paddle as far. <laughs> so it's almost ingrained in me to surf this board like so high performance, but even though I actually, I don't have to. Um, I don't want to, I want to enjoy it. There's no, you don't have to do that finish turn. No, nah, yeah. but I actually had I actually had a couple of waves on it where it just, where it come into its own. I had one foam ball ride wave where it just, I was just like any other board, probably wouldn't have done it, you know, especially with all the boards I ride now, like 20s and all the weird shit. And get back on this, had moments of like, holy shit. I remember being able to get where I want, do what I want, when I want, yeah. on a wave, it was good. Joel had picked that board for the event, which was pre-2009 snapper event. This one was the backup board. Joel had creased what we call the forget me not in the semis and then ran in grabbed the golden child and went on and won Kira, Snapper, and then Bells and then J-Bay, all on that same board. I rode it all year, I think it's still got, you know, I think it got a semis in Portugal. I rode it in every conditions from like six foot J-Bay to perfect three foot little beaches in Portugal. And it was one of those boards that just two foot to, well, could have been 10 foot, it was gonna work, you know, it was just one of those special boards. I mean, this was still the same board going into 2012 world title it was it was it hadn't changed so joel was still on that same board and that's you know three years later and then retired it and then our new team rider john glitterman broke it so yeah. <laughs> so i went up to js and went up there and seen one of joel's old boards that was just collecting dust up up above in js's factory and we're looking at him and then js was just like take it give it a spin and let me know how it went. And I fucking ended up riding it at the point on a good day and it was felt like one of the best boards I've ever ridden out there and just couldn't get off it until I snapped it. I saw him today, that's all he ordered. Like, Jai turned up, that's like, he goes, all I want is Golden Child. Golden Child. Yeah, I'd and probably, I'm probably just gonna do your Golden Childs in all the lengths. Yeah. Oh, uh, how's these things? Are they all golden tops? Yeah. That feels sick. This feels like a board that you're gonna rip on. There's nothing out of place. Fully. You know what I mean? It's like as high performance as you can get. Fuck, it's so nice to feel these things. The only 
way to improve it is probably the surfer. <laughs> so <laughs> we're never going to go back to the OG. But oh, I think this is amazing. For me, I feel like you know surfboards have come a long way since 2009. But to go back and ride a 2009 board, I mean, I don't know how much further they've come. This thing's this thing's amazing. You know, if you had you know pick one board to pick for the rest of your life, a short board, I couldn't imagine maybe a Monster 10s or something, but for me, I'd, I'd stick with this. It's what I know. It's probably what my, my surfing style and everything suited to. The forget-me-not, which we developed and was off that other board and went that way, and this board has just been left, of, you know, till now. As the old footage shows, and even some of the new footage that will probably pop up from the last couple of weeks, this board still has not lost, a, you know, lost its touch. I felt like every time I rode this board, when I was in my prime surfing it, if I knew the waves were four foot and it had pushed, this board was just never going to fail or let me down. Um, and it never did. The most winningest board anyway, for designed for Joel, has been this board. This is just a proven design. A two foot wave with push into, you know, six, eight and ten foot, it still, it just does everything. <laughs>